such. Tell me that you love me still and I'll come home to you Tell me everything's okay and we'll start something new Cause I don't care what you did And I don't care what you said dear I just want to feel some love from you tonight So come on home baby everything will be alright my name is Margaret Stewart. I'm a firefighter with Los Angeles City Fire Department. And in addition to my regular job, my partner Bo and I, we search for trapped people. If you're claustrophobic, let me know. If you don't like the dark, let me know. There's lots of places to hide you. Okay. We're playing the, fire, the fallen victims in a building collapse. Lie still and wait for the dogs to come and bark. We usually then take a toy out and reward the dogs. What a standard toy looks like that we usually use. Just a piece of old fire hose sewn together with a little bit of stuffing. Search. This is all about live find disaster searching. So for earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, building collapses, anyone where you have victims who are, are trapped or buried, uh, she's gonna search for them She'll alert by barking, and then we'll be able to locate where they are so that they can then be extricated. This is a, a great simulation for what's going on in Haiti right now. Uh, you've got buildings that are partially collapsed. Uh, we don't know how many people are in there. We don't know what we're going to face when we go in the building. And even though this is training for us, it's always real for the dogs. They don't know that it's not you know, an earthquake. All they know is they're going into work. So every single time they search, it's real for them. And so that's why it's important that we're doing the right thing. We reward them properly. They stay motivated because when we're in an environment where you know, it is real life, it's, we're going to feel it, but it'll feel the same to the dog. So they'll be able to perform just like they do every day and they won't have any additional stress because they're used to doing it. Our victims are buried with these toys, so once they give enough barks, they have to consistently bark on their own without any prompting, and once they do that and they've committed to that site, then the, the victims will slowly start to put the toy out of the hole, and the dogs will see it, they'll latch on, and then it becomes a tug-of-war with the dog, and that's their reward. They love her, see? <laughs> so that's what that's what it's all about. This is where she gets her fun and this is what she lives for is getting that toy. At about eight months old, uh, the, the trainer that I got her from can identify whether she's cut out for this job because not all dogs are. They have to be brave enough to climb on the rubble without fear. They have to have the drive to want to work and do it every single time. And that's what she has. Just she, she's looking in the building right now because she wants to go again. She is always ready to work. She loves it. She doesn't, she wouldn't want to do anything else. And that's what makes her such a good search dog. What you did, and I don't care what you said, dear. I just need to feel some love from you tonight. So come on home, baby.